Hello guys and welcome to our drag and drop tutorial series in Unity to third episode of our tour struggle or an adventure, whichever you choose. So in today's episode we'll be dealing with snapping to a grid, which is the final boss and final enemy to our drag and drop system. So as a matter of fact, uh, snapping to a grid is not particularly difficult, but as always it requires a few tricks. So first of all we create as always public bool flag snap to grid, which we will uh, set as true and it will be an option to toggle on or off the, uh, the system or the trait of the system. and. Right now, after the after our transforming of the position, right now after transforming the position of our object, we have to check whether the snap to grid option is toggled on, and if it is, then the position will be changed and by changing, I mean every frame will make a new vector 2 and the new vector 2 will actually consist of uh, a very basic mathematical uh, function which is rounding yeah, just we'll use mathf, mathfloat.round method and we'll use uh, round to int because it's better uh, the result will be an integer not a float so we'll use this round to int method and we'll just put our previously created transform dot position uh, and we'll put the value of x and the value of y rounded to the nearest integer as a new value of uh, our x and y value if you are curious why we are not uh, assigning both values independently, uh, it's only because those are protected values um, and we have to create a new vector and assign a vector instead of assigning values because that's forbidden. That's how the class uh, transform position is uh, designed. That's so let's see what's the eventual result and as we can see we can and we are applying snapping to a grid although we are not snapping to the grid uh, as to those grids seen in unity editor because there is an offset but uh, generally this offset can be uh, also tuned if you want uh, if you want to tune this kind of an offset not really sure why would you like to do that but uh, some variation of adaptation of this mechanic may, uh, may require you to do some kind of an offset maybe not for every item but from, for some items so uh, let's see how you can simply do this kind of an offset what I will do is uh, remove the um, sprite renderer into a separate uh, object which will be a child of my object holding the drag and drop controller as you can see nothing really changes in terms of visual uh, graphics but the image which is now the child can be offset by any amount uh, on both axes for example half and right now I will have to offset the uh, the collider as well but anyway uh, as we can see uh, right now we are applying drag and drop to the to the grid uh, seen in the unity editor which is which is fine if you want this kind of an effect one more thing which we'll cover in this uh, tutorial is uh, how to do uh, how to tune the grid size because 
for example we might want to to have a grid of a smaller or bigger size or have an object that's covering more than one grid uh, we'll have to create a float variable uh, designed to describe the size of the grid and right now let's go to the main part of the code where the the new functionality is being set and here the rule is simple we take the position we divide it by the um, scale factor we called uh, grid size and then round it and after rounding the d divided value we have to multiply it by the grid size so after that we have a rounded to the nearest amount of to the nearest not integer but um, somehow we are applying changing the meaning of an integer because right now integer means every one so like one two three and four but if we change the grid size and apply this kind of calculus then uh, now we are rounding to the nearest um, unit of a grid size so for example every half in this case we can make it every two every four every whatever you want notice that when you put grid size equal to one nothing really changes because we are still applying uh, the same rule for integers so as a matter of fact the starting value is point half is point five as, and as you can see we are moving the square by every half of a unit of its length because its length is now one if we change to one it's like a normal uh, behavior if we change it to for example bigger amount it will hop every two units yeah and generally uh, if you want to make some kind of uh, for example city building game you want to make a big object, big building, which uh, will cover like three by three um, spaces. You might want to change the grid size, and maybe you also will like to have some kind of better precision for putting object, but not make it free float like uh, in previous uh, tutorials. So that's the case you want to aim for. So. We'll finish uh, today's video with this mechanic. Okay, guys, so thank you for watching, and uh, I'm always happy to help. Feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. And remember, always listen to your parents. Cheers!